hi hello my name is Kat welcome to Whittier Stitches this is floss tube number nine um, it has been a little while since we've last spoken so hello again um, I wrapped up new start November I had a couple new starts several of them ended up being presents um, so I can show you, mm, well, I have a picture of one. I've already gifted the person has received. Um, it went to the, the boardroom Tyler, which is a new board game store that opened up in my area. Um, I've become really good friends with the owner. And so it was a D and D pattern kind of, uh, it said, welcome roll for initiative. Um, which also the name and pattern. I recharted part of it to look like the boardroom's logo. So here's the logo. Here's what I charted, um, or rather the finished item, um, fully finished item. There we go. They hung it up in the cafe part of the store, um, because it is on the 18 count Kadu Amazon Ada, um, and I coffee dyed it because they are a board game and cafe um, place. So I thought coffee dyeing it was appropriate, but yes, here you go. They posted about, about it on Facebook. I was super excited. Um, that was the first thing I started after we last spoke. Um, and then we have one of my birthday presents I started. It is the Christmas Eve book from the Prairie Schooler. Um, it's a baby start, but it's a start nonetheless, right down there in the corner. Um, Ta-da. Um, it's, do I have it over here? Uh, because I most definitely, yeah, this is it. So this is the pattern. Um, and I start down in this corner. So I've gotten the first little tree done. <laughs> Started in the snow and then went, you know what? I don't want to work on snow and went up to the first little tree down there. So. So this is on Picture This Plus 16 Count Heartland Ada. Um, I love it. It is so soft and beautiful and wonderful. Um, it's not cut even, like one end's wider than the other end, but that's fine. I don't mind. It'll be aight. <laughs> The next new start that I can actually show is from Needle Minders Lair, and it is the Galaxy D20. Um, I have a little tiny start on this one as well. I did a lot of baby starts for New Start November, because I did worked on them for like an hour or two one day, and then that was it. Um, but yes. So it has been started. It is very cute. I can't wait for it to be done. It will go up in my own house. I'm keeping this one for myself. Um, and this is on a, I want to say 16 count as well. The 16 count Zweigart. This is a fabric I'm not really sure, but I've been told it looks like they're printed Ada called Vintage, so potentially that. Um, and then I had several new starts that were presents and secrets and can't show them to you because they have not been received yet. I had a very huge new start that I actually can't show you that one either because it's also a secret, but it's not a gift. I am 
designing a fancy lady, y'all. Not designing, designed. I worked with an artist. His name is Aaron Culpepper. He is a tattoo artist in Shreveport, Louisiana. He's my tattoo artist. Um, and he drew a wonderful, beautiful, fancy lady, and he named her Candy. And I took that drawing and translated it into a cross stitch pattern. Um, she's gorgeous, she's wonderful, she's plus size, which was the goal. I reached out to him, asking him if he knew any artist that would be willing to take an art commission for a plus size lady in a ball gown in an Art Nouveau style. And he's like, I don't normally do that kind of stuff, but that sounds amazing, I want to do it. I was like, heck yeah, dude, I love Aaron's work. So yes, absolutely, how much are you gonna charge? Um, so we worked out and we discussed, and what we have landed on is, this is going to be the first of hopefully many. I am, I have charted her, she is done. We are in the test stitching process. Um, she's going to be a free pattern when she is released. If she does well as a free pattern, there will be more. So, fingers crossed, y'all. Um, I posted a little sneak peek up on my Instagram of a little bitty part of the original drawing as well as the same little bitty part in the charted version. And I will post those pictures here. So, the art version and then the charted version, um, which is unbelievably exciting. I cannot wait to be able to show y'all. Um, and yeah, so that's fantastic and very exciting and awesome and wonderful. And now on to haul. Um, I have not opened it yet. I literally just got it out of the mail. I have some more Mosel silk and I have a lot more coming, but we have mint candy, mossy, and then two things of asparagus. You're very pretty. There is my second fabric of the month. This is for Millennial Fabrics. Um, oh, it doesn't look that pink in person. It's, it is pink, don't get me wrong, it's pink, but it's also kind of purple. Um, and again, I don't know why my camera keeps doing this. There is not that much white space on this. There is a lot more saturation to it in real life. Um, it is called Elixir and Yes, it is giving me life. It really is. So, aptly named, I think. <laughs> All right. Ah, I'm dropping stuff. We have Stargazer. I, ooh, look at that. Yes, we all know and love Stargazer. I have been watching Lala D stitch this girl for a long time, it feels like. <laughs> um, and she was always very gorgeous, but I never felt the urge to stitch her myself. And then Jordan from Needle House sent me a picture of Stargazer stitched on a gorgeous fabric that was like denim and light blue, like half and half. She's looking up into the dark denim and it's beautiful. And I was like, oh no, I have to stitch her now. Um, how terrible. <laughs> I gotta stitch another fancy lady. Um, I'm going to be doing her in a purple conversion and I found a picture of somebody that gave her long hair. Um, I can't find the actual charted conversion for that. So I'm gonna try to chart it based off of the picture. And so that is my plans for her, but she is going to have to wait until I make progress on candy or maybe finish candy. I don't know. It might be a while for my next video, guys, because candy's going to be getting all of my attention to get the test stitching done. 
But oh my gosh, she's wonderful. But so is Stargazer. And I love Stargazer and I can't wait to do her, but she she just has to wait. Um actually dyed fabric for me and Jordan to stitch our stargazers on. And Jordan's fabric turned out gorgeous. No, I do not have pictures of it. I tried photographing it and every photograph looked nothing like what the actual fabric looked like. So I just deleted those. Um, she does not know what it looks like yet. It has not arrived yet. She has like another week until it gets to her because um, US to Australia shipping takes a while. Um, and I accidentally ruined my fabric somehow. I got red all over it. I say somehow. I was also dyeing red fabrics at the same time and I guess I didn't wash out one of the bowls well enough and so it, whatever. Either way, I have to reorder my own fabric and then dye it again. Um, a lot of the dyeing, fabric dyeing I did ended up being Christmas presents. Um, but this is one that I kept for myself and I really liked how it turned out. This was an ice dye that involves me being very impatient and so I used a hair dryer to melt the ice. <laughs> but it turned out really cool and it just screams awesome to me. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to put on it because the only thing that comes to mind for me is the love bug sal, which I've never actually wanted to stitch before, or the love bug, I don't, I, whatever it's actually called, you know, the love bug pattern. Um, I've never actually wanted to stitch it before, but I feel like that would look really good on this fabric. But then I'm like, oh, maybe I should pick a pattern I've actually wanted to do for a while. But I don't know. I have not decided for now. It shall stay in stash. This is a 28 count Zweigart Lugana um, that I dyed. And it's pretty and gorgeous and yay! Um, what else? What else? What else? We have. I feel like that's my catchphrase. We have. We don't have. I have. But I'm sharing it with you, so we have. <laughs> oh gosh. I swear I'm not insane, y'all. I doubt you believe me, but oh. And it's not this fault. This calms me down <laughs> because ADHD. What did I read? I finished Mock Diver. Um, the last time I spoke about it, I was at a point where I was kind of like, eh, with the book that I was reading it. Um, I finally got past the icky, grody, nasty fight scenes that were too gory for my taste. And that was about halfway through the book. I believe I was at 54% of the way through the book when I finished the icky, gory, gross. Um, and the rest of the book was amazing and fantastic and I got so into it and so hyped up. I actually, uh, listened to the whole second half of the book in one sitting. Um, I think it took like four hours or something like that. I did the, uh, text to speech thing on my phone and let it read to me. And I was in the car when I was doing it because that's usually when I am listening to the books. Um. And there were points where I was screaming at the book, screaming. I was so excited and pumped and then shocked at some points and just what? Like what? Oh my gosh. The end fight scene was phenomenal. Phenomenal. It was mecha, which is not my genre, but I got into that fight, man. I got so into it. I was like, yeah, yeah do this, do that. Yeah. Yeah, it was, whoo, <laughs> I got intense. Um, I can't, I, I don't know, do I give you spoilers? Do I want to ruin it for you? No, you need to read it and find out. Um, there's actually a physical copy now, because at, at the point that I bought it, there was only the Kindle version, the ebook. There is now a paperback, um, which I'm going to be ordering even though I already have the Kindle version. Um, yeah. 
It's wonderful and I'm ready for the second book. I have the perfect amount of questions. Like they answered enough of my questions that I'm satisfied, but they left me with enough new questions that I'm like, okay, second book. Here we go. Now let's do it, please. I have more questions. I need, I need answers. I need them. And I know I have a while to wait because the author has not finished the second book yet. He is working on a different book. Um, so I must have patience and that is not my forte. Um, but here we are. <laughs> um, hey, 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 you two. No, we're not gonna start barking and growling. My dogs decided they wanted to play. We're not gonna do that, no. Hi, Miss Coco, come on. Um, anyways, okay, what else we got? What have I been watching? I've been watching Floss Tube. Same people I always watch, Cam, Cinematic, Frizzy Lizzie Stitches, um, Jordan and Needlehouse. I just finished Floss Tube number one from Eve at Queen V Crafts. Um, um, what else we got? What just do we have? <laughs> okay, um, I finally, um, okay, so YouTube sends you what they call insights, which is information about the people that watch your videos. Um, and I got a thing from insights that informed me that 47% of you guys watch my videos with captions. I also watch videos with captions and I have rewatched my videos just to make sure I don't sound stupid. And I know the auto captions are terrible. So I now have hired Ben to do captions. Ben, take a moment, say hi. You will have to have captions on to find out if he said hi or not. Did you, did you, did you stick that in there? Hi, hi Ben, love you Ben. Um, He's phenomenal and he watches these videos anyways. He has watched every single one. So why not have him do the captions? Because <laughs> um, he's a great writer. Um, and he did one video, the last one, Floss Tube number eight. He did the captions on it. Um, and those just went up like two days ago. And I rewatched it so I could check out the captions and he had me cracking up at the captions. He captioned the dog. Like, it was <laughs> uh, phenomenal. He's great. I love him. He's definitely a great bestie and a great captions guy. So, I'm trying to think, do I have? No, I still can't show y'all that. Hopefully next week I'll have a giveaway. Not next week, next video. Um, my secret Santa person still has not opened their present, even though it's December now. It is December 2nd as of this recording. Um, I don't know when this is going to get posted and I've got to shoot it over to Ben so he can do the captions and work his magic before it's posted. <laughs> um, but hopefully next, next video I will have um, a pattern to do a giveaway, but it's the pattern I used for my secret Santa. So I don't want to show it until they open their thing, just in case. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Um, and Miss Coco has decided it's nap time. So I guess I'm done talking so that she can sleep. She's like, quit moving me. I'm sleepy. It's nap, nap time. Okay. Love y'all. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>